this is Mike with Reformation Garden and looking straight back through the mulch the grass is starting to come in because it's been sitting here for a little over a year and a half so I got a notice from the city saying that uh, my grass was too tall in the front it looks like so I have been getting rid of this pile here and um, yeah putting it towards the front so if I can walk there fast I'm trying to keep this video under a minute 30 seconds <laughs> so I have this invasive grass that's coming in from the neighbor this lot and it was in, it's all in the front so I've gotten all this mulch done this was the original place where I've done mulch in the past so I just got one little spot done and I'm gonna be done for the day but I gotta get all this here because this is the tallest uh, that I'm just not gonna worry about right now Oh my goodness, this was in the mulch. Thought it was dead. What kind of snake is this? It's probably freezing, that's why it's not moving. It's a beautiful snake. I end up getting another snake. They're just loving this mulch pile over here. This must be one of the snakes that had hatched in the mulch because I've been finding found like 12 snake eggs, I think. This is Mike with Reformation Garden, and today I am working on the goat fence, or the pallet fence, whatever you want to call it, but I'm trying to get them shaded in and rainproof down, I should say, because the rain is coming tonight and I need a place for them to stay dry, their food to stay dry. So this is it. <laughs> just put it, I just threw a pallet on top. Yeah, it's a little, it's a little off, but it's pretty stable. Um, and all these feed bags, I'm glad I saved them. Now it's, it's weatherproofing and I've had some of these, um, uh, what do you call them? Grip rights from uh, a roof I did on my old home. Um, so I have a bunch left over, so it's perfect. All these, you know, free, reusable, or uh, things that you would have normally thrown away. I'm glad I kept them. So this is it. I'll probably do the inside as well, because this will end up being the inside of the next cube. So I'll just put another pallet on and redo the roof. You know, I'm wasting some nails, but that's okay. They were free. Or they've already been paid for. Say hi, Drake. I call him Dirk Dirk. So I'm trying to get this done before I gotta go to work and before the rain. So I gotta get them fed and watered. So it's all good. I got a couple more. Right here, just gotta do this, and I may, again, I may do the inside, and I gotta get another. I should have waited to do the top, because I, I put that on pretty much first, which was not me. Always work from the bottom up. All right, this is Mike with Reformation Garden, over and out. Just cutting down bamboo. Cutting this down for the windbreak, for the goats, and shade. It just keeps going and going. I turn around. This thing is massive. So we'll actually be digging out some of the newer growth to hopefully get uh, established on the property. Does anybody know what type of bamboo this is? It's got dark green leaves. Well, it's got some yellowing. I don't know if that's a yellowing near the uh, stem. The actual canes are green or light green with this white chalky stuff on them. There's some of the dead canes there as well. So we're just helping clean up the actual bamboo while I get some for myself. So win-win for everybody. <laughs> 